Hello everyone, I am Sai Jason. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tecoring. Today's file try to or to a tutorial on how to install the Google camera in the Mi 11X device, as you can say, friends. So right now I'm using the Mi 11X smartphone. So let's see, friends, uh, how to actually install the Google camera in this particular smartphone as well. So try to follow exactly the methods and don't try to uh, skip the video as well, friends. And make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on this Mi 11X device. And just yesterday I did upload on this uh, Mi 11X using the Google camera, and a lot of users they asked me to make a video on this how to uh, install as well and first is that you need to download the apk file the available apk file i did post in my telegram group so this is the apk exactly designed for the mi 11x uh, smartphone only so try to uh, follow me in the telegram group so uh, just do it searching on the telegram in the search bar just type SciTech guru and you will be seeing the first uh, channel on my name as you can see friends so which has a uh, 4004 uh, subscribers as you can see so try to join in, in this channel and go to this uh, option and go to the files and here you will be seeing the option which is available for this uh, google camera so once i finish and upload this video i'll be immediately uh, posting the video in this telegram and along with the file as well so you'll be able to download directly apk from this uh, telegram group so there is a link even in the description below for my uh, telegram group channel so if you cannot find the link so try to search in the telegram group site tech guru and definitely you will see my channel which has 4,900 subscribers and in this way you can download the apk file directly which is available for the and mi 11x device and do if you, even if you try any other google cam apk files so few of them will be not working and few of them will be working so uh, try to use this kind of exactly same apk file so once you download the apk file you, you need to allow all the permissions as you can see friends so once you give all the permissions uh, do here so you'll get the complete uh, google cam type inter interface as you can see friends and another thing is that whenever you uh, decide to change the uh, options here you do get the haptic feedback as well which is also integrated into this uh, pixel uh, camera which is a google camera as you can see so let me to start with the normal camera so in the camera you'll be having the wide angle lens and the telescope lens and the normal camera lens as you can see here so even by using the normal camera you can zoom up to 10x zoom as well so no need to use the telescope uh, every time if you want if you wanted as you can see here friends so that is another thing so next is that uh, let me try to show you, show you the video options so one of the question a lot of users ask me to that uh, when you record the video can you change the wide angle or not so let's see friends in the cool camera whether you can change or not so when i'm trying to record so you cannot do that in this cool camera as you can see here so it Im immediately uh, stop at the video and it went back to the wide angle lens so you cannot do that right now using this Google cam. So there's slow motion option as well. So there's slow motion normal and time lapse as well. Time lapse up to 120x. So there's an option available. And slow motion up to uh, 1 1 by 8x as you can see. These are the speeds which are available for the slow motion. And recording the settings. So these are the few settings which are available uh, in this model as you can see friends. So if you go to the settings you can see all the options here which, which are available for you to adjust everything. So you can even force the 4K 60fps uh, as well in case if you are interested to record the videos using the 4K 60fps. So even there is an option for the video stabilization, focus tracking. You can enable all of these options in case if you are interested in. As you can see here. So once you are in the video mode, uh, now let me try to go to the normal mode. So in the video you can just tap on this arrow mark. So once you tap on that you do get the option now of recording 4K at 60 FPS as you can see friends. So now you can record the 4K at 60 FPS using that smartphone itself. So let me try whether the app will be crashing or not. So I just want to see and curious about the 4K 60 FPS will be supported in this phone or not. As you can see friends I am trying to uh, move multiple locations and seeing. So I did record the video and let me try to open the footage. So let's see whether the direct gallery will be working or not. As you can see, it's not working. So if you want to open the images or any videos, you need to go through the gallery application to open the files. So that is another uh, drawback here. So even if, if you take the shots, even if you take the shots, as you can see, you get the option of uh, directly sharing them into the WhatsApp or Instagram. So let me try to click WhatsApp. So it will be opening to the WhatsApp directly. That's another uh, good advantage which you got here. But uh, if you if you try to open this uh, image, it, it doesn't open. So maybe it requires another gallery application, I think so, which is kind of a uh, Google gallery, maybe. I'll try to even do that kind of research and I'll be back in case. So, but that's a good advantage where you can take the image and just click on this arrow mark and you can share immediately. So you can share immediately to the WhatsApp, Instagram or the Facebook group. So this is a quick uh, tutorial friends, how you can actually uh, play around and do all those settings, whatever necessary for you all. 
as you can see here all these things which are available in the camera options as well so uh, that's it friends thank you for watching this video and for more uh, interesting videos make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and there are so many options available in this uh, mod settings as well where you can change plenty of options which are available here so which uh, i did not use much but you can definitely use them in case if you are interested to try so try to compare friends by using the gold cam and the normal camera so on the only thing difference is that if you use the gold camera shots the images they look kind of saturated and the more contrast levels and more brighter so that is what i did see during my usage of this gold camera during this past a few days of installing this kind of application so uh, that's it friends thank you for watching and don't forget to check the links in description for more details about other smartphones as well and see you in the next video friends until then bye